Hi, my name's Shane, also known as Crypto is Key on Steemit. And in this video, I'm going to show you the basics of how to insert images, insert videos, how to center everything. Uh, we'll also look at headers and how to bold headers. And if you're not so good with spelling or with punctuation or grammar, like me, old school, two type finger type style on the keyboard, then this will help you this video. I've come across recently, thanks to Steam Drive, um, a plugin for your browser called Grammarly. And what this does is it actually works directly inside the Steam editor. So when you're typing, it will show you any mistakes. Uh, it works basically in any text box or anything where you're going to post some text. So this is a great uh, help for auto-correcting. This is basically just a companion video for the post below. Um, so, but this will definitely help you if you're new to Steemit and new to blogging in general. So let's get started. So I already have Grammarly installed into my browser. I'm using Chrome, which I think is the best for uh, Grammarly. And you can see here uh, that I'm actually in the apps um, part of it. You can see Grammarly for Chrome, Microsoft Office and Grammarly for Windows. Now I've actually all already installed this. You can see here, this is actually the app on my desktop. So you can run it directly from your desktop as well, which can come in handy. Okay, so, and if we just go to my Grammarly, you can see you can actually hold documents in here as well, uh, which is cool. Uh, this, this is the free version and the premium version gives you a lot more options, but just for, you know, basic corrections, um, spelling mistakes, etc. Uh, for steam it or for any you know blogging or any post or anything. I, I think the free version is okay I'll probably take it one step further and I will invest in the premium version a little bit later But for now, this is just the free version Okay, so you basically just go to uh, Grammarly.com and it will uh, it will recognize what browser that you're using and it will ask you to install it So if I just uh, come over to here, I've got a post here and if we actually come up here, you can see I have the uh, Grammarly icon installed in the browser and if I just click on this it gives you some basic options but you can also see here that it's uh, showing for stemmit.com okay and if you look down here you can see the Grammarly icons so let's just uh, I'll just write a, a basic sentence and make a few mistakes and you'll see how this works um, so I'll just put something like um, is Grammarly the best for corrections okay so you can see just here so if I roll over this you can see here it's giving me now I can auto correct it right here just by clicking on this you can see here over here and here okay but what I like to do you can see down here now it's showing four I click on this and I'll actually just bring up a new window right here and you can simply just you can expand this and it will give you you know more options on what you can do but for now I'm just going to show you how quick this is uh, there corrections and four and there you go and then once you've done that you just click outside and it auto corrects it's that simple so for if, if, if you are new to blogging this is definitely a huge advantage I use this every day because I am absolutely hopeless at spelling and at grammar um, and punctuation so this is like gold to me and I'm sure this will help you as well okay so first let me show you how to make this header text bold so the way that we do that is we come to the beginning of the text and we hold down the shift key and we hit the asterisk key two times okay and then we come to the back of the text and we do the same thing again shift and asterisk two times and you can see now down here it is bolded now if we want to control the size of the text and keep it bold what we do is we hold down the shift key and then tap on the pound sign and then we need to hit the space bar one time and you can see that now we have the header in large text and it's bold. Now if we wanted to uh, control the size a bit, maybe make it a little bit smaller, if we come with the cursor just back to beside the 
pound sign and if we add another one by holding shift and pound you can see the header is getting smaller in the preview window if, if we do that again smaller again and if we do it once more smaller again okay let's back up to the original one now if we want to center this header text let's do that by using the HTML tag center and the way that we do that is if we come we, we need to create a, a space so let's come beside the header text hold down your shift key and then left angle bracket and then the word center and then right angle bracket and then let's come to the end of the header text and for this we need to close the tag out so we hold down the shift and left angle bracket then forward slash and then center and then close it off with shift and right angle bracket and you can see now it's come to the center okay so that's just a way that you can customize your text a little bit creating space between your text is very simple what you need to do is hit enter on your keyboard to create a new line now you can see down here there is a space if you want to create more space we do that by using the html break tags line break tags okay now this is achieved by holding shift and then left angle bracket and then the letter b and then right angle bracket okay so now if we copy this and just create a new line by hitting enter and then control v to paste it you can notice down here we have more of a space so we could continue this if we wanted more enter for a new line control v and you can see it's got more space so that's how you create spaces. Now to create a divider, all we need to do is create a new line, hold down shift and tap the underscore three times. One, two, three. Now you can see here is the divider. You can create multiple dividers if we create a new line by hitting enter, and then holding shift and underscore three times again. You can see we have another one. Now you can also use the asterisk key if we hit enter to create a new line hold shift and the asterisk key three times okay so it's that simple okay here I'll show you how to create a bulleted list it's very simple just hold down your shift key then tap on the plus then hit the space bar and type your text okay let's do that again shift plus space bar text okay now if you want to create subcategories create a new line hit enter and then just don't add the plus just add your text okay you can see down in the preview down the bottom that we're creating an indent text and if you want to break this and start writing again you just have to make sure that you hit enter two times and then that will break it okay like that So to create a hyperlink, or in other words, make text a live link so that when a user clicks on it, they will be redirected to a URL of a choice, we do it like this. The first thing we do is put the cursor on the front of the text and add the left bracket, and then come to the end and the right bracket. Then we need to create parentheses, so hold down the shift key and left parentheses, and then right parentheses. And then we just click in the center of the two parentheses, and this is where we add our URL. So let's just use the Steemit URL, so HTTP, and then www.steemit.com. Okay, now you can see down here we have the click here in the preview. If we just roll over it, you can see now down in the left, if you just look down here on the left, you'll see that it redirects to steamit.com. Okay, so it's that simple to create a hyperlink. Okay, so there seems to be a few changes made on Steamit, so thank you to Innuendo for pointing this out to me. Uh, it helped me correct uh, my post. So the safest way to do this is to use the HTML image tags, okay? So the first thing we need to do is hold shift, then left angle bracket, then IMG, which is short for image, then space, then S, RFC for source, okay, and then the equal sign, and then hold shift and quotation mark. Now we need to input the actual link to the image, okay, so let's, I've got one here in my Amazon account, I'll just right click 
copy that, come back to the post, and then control V in there. Now we need to finish off this with the HTML on the end, the end tag. So the way that we do that is hold down shift, quotation, then space, border, then equals, then shift quotation, and then zero, and then shift quotation again, and then space, and then forward slash, and then lastly hold shift and right angle bracket. Okay, and now you can see that it's displaying the image fine. All right, so now let me just show you quickly. You can create an account at steaming.com, okay, which is uh, been created by Blue Orgy. Uh, it's a lot of people are using this site, and I recommend it definitely. I, I personally use Amazon, but I will be using this for some of my images as well. And all you need to do is when you upload images, uh, all you need to do is in your account is come to where it says embed codes here and just click on that and then come down to the HTML and this is what you need and this will actually give you all the code all together and you just click on copy okay so like for example if I copy this now and then I come back to the post and then I'll just create a new line and then control V you can see it's posted perfectly there okay so that's the easiest way if you don't want to write any code uh, just do it like that okay and if you want to center this image it's pretty easy just to add the center tags so shift left angle bracket then center and then shift right angle bracket to close it and then come to the end and then shift left angle bracket then forward slash then the word center again and then shift right angle bracket and now you can see that that's gone into the center okay Adding a YouTube video is very simple. You just come to the video and down to the share tab, click on that, and then you just need this URL, and then just copy it, come back to submit post, and all we need to do is just control V and paste it straight in. And you'll notice that now the video is displaying here. So it's that simple to add a video. To center text images and videos, we use the HTML center tags. So if you keep your eyes on the previewer down here as I'm typing. So the first thing you need to do is add the first tag, which is shift, left corner bracket, then add the word center, then right corner bracket. Now come to the end of the text, shift, left corner bracket, forward slash, center, and close it off with a right corner bracket. Now you can see that the, the uh, text is in the center. Now with the image source, we've got the image source, now we've got the link and we've got the image source tag, so we need to do is wrap it with the center tag. So shift, left corner bracket, center, right corner bracket, and come to the end here, and the same again. Left corner bracket, forward slash, center, and then right corner bracket. Okay, you can see now that's in the center and the same with the video. So shift, left corner bracket, center, right shift, right corner bracket, come to the end, shift, left corner bracket, forward slash, center, and close it off with the right corner bracket. Now you can see everything is center. It's that simple. So I'm just going to show you how to host images two different ways. This first way is with steaming.com uh, that was created by Blue Orgy and this is very simple and I would definitely recommend this. So all you do is create an account. Once you have an account you can come to the upload and just click on that and it says you can drop it. So I'm just going to drag an image from my desktop on here and put it on there. Select category. I'm going to call it art and I'm going to upload. Okay. So now that I have this here, all that I have to do is come over to the embed codes, click on that, come down to the HTML, and then come over to the right and click on copy. Now if we come to a post, and I already have that copy, so all I need to do is hit control V to paste it, and there is the image. So it's that simple. So now let's have a look at Amazon. 
So I have been using uh, Amazon S3 for about three years and I use it to host all my images on a 3D virtual catalog and it's very cheap. I have uh, literally hundreds of images and it costs me between 10 and 30 cents a month so it's very cheap. So now there are free options but this is what I prefer because I've been using this for so long. I do use other options and I, and I do believe that steaming.com by Blue Orgy is definitely the way to go um, but if you want something a little bit more advanced then probably you can look at this. So once you create an Amazon account you can come down to the S3, you don't have to worry about anything else, just the S3 here and click on that. Now you'll see a lot of data, a lot of images and buckets that I have already in here, don't worry about that. When you first open this, this will be blank. So up here you can see it says create bucket, now that basically means create folder, okay, in layman's terms. So we'll click on that. And you need to give it a unique name to make sure that nobody else has used it. So I'm just going to call this Steam It Images, and I'll put a dash, and I'll put a five beside it. Okay. And then click on, and actually, you can't use capitals, okay, uppercase. So you have to use lowercase. And then five, and then the region. I'm just, I just use Oregon by default, but it depend, depends where you'll be in the world and then just click on create. Okay, so now that that's created, let's find it down here and just click on it. Now you can see that this is empty. There's no images in here yet, okay? Now, the first thing we, we, we're gonna do is we're going to upload an image. So we first click on the upload button up here. Now you can navigate to the file using this option, but I like to just drag and drop. So I'm gonna grab an image off the desktop and just put it here and just drop it directly on there. Now click on start upload. Now by default these are actually, these images are not public so you need to enable them. So if you just select it and right click make public, okay, and then click on OK on the dialog box. Now once it's selected you just come over to properties and here is the URL here so let's just right click copy it. Let's come to our post, let me just wipe this out, okay, and we'll just put it in here. Now you can see that it's displaying this, but don't trust that. Use the HTML tags to make sure that everything works properly. So the way that we do that is we just hold down shift and do left corner bracket. Okay, then IMG, then uh, space, then SRC, then the equals, then shift quotation. Okay, and then we come to the end of the URL and we do shift quotation and then space and then border and then equals and then shift quotation zero shift quotation space forward slash and then shift right bracket okay so you can see that that is now displayed so now if for example we are creating uh, sorry uploading a lot of images then we don't want to be right clicking and clicking on make public every time we upload an image. We want it to automatically make it public. Now we can do that with a, a small script that I have. Let me just pull it across here. Okay. So you can see here, the only thing that we need to change is this. Okay. Now this is the name of your bucket. Okay. So this is the name of our bucket here. All right. So We've got Steemit Images 5, okay, so we've got Steemit Images already in there, we'll just change this last one to 5, but obviously this will be whatever you call your bucket, you would, you would add that in here, okay. Now let's just click on this again to default it back to the properties. Now what we need to do is we need to come to permissions, like this, and then to add bucket policy, let me just move this over a bit, click on add bucket policy, okay, now this will come up. Now all we need to do is take all this code, right click copy and then put it in here and control V and paste it okay and then click on save okay now come over here and finally click on save okay now we've added this in here which means it should work so let's test this let me just move this out of the way what we're going to do is upload another image so we'll click on upload and I've got another image here I'm going to put this over here and drag it okay and click on start upload Okay, now all we're going to do is we're going to select it. We're not going to make it public. We're going to come over to the properties. Okay, I'm going to right click, 
copy link address, come over to the post, and just to show you that it is actually active, all I'm, all I'm going to do is just post it directly in here and you watch. Okay, and there's the image. So it's that simple. So I definitely recommend S3 if you're looking at something long term maybe, um, and you know with a few more options. But in general you can just use stemming.com uh, and from Blue Orgy and just host your images there.